assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel before we begin do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you for watching so today we are going to solve cambridge igcsc mathematics paper 3 core 0580 variant 32 may june 2020 question number 4 onwards alexa ben and chloe own a restaurant alexa records some temperatures for the fridge cool box and freezer find the difference in temperature between the fridge and the cool box to find the difference we subtract the small value from the big value 4 degrees centigrade or celsius this is a positive number so that is bigger than the cool box which is negative 3 degrees so four, difference means you subtract so 4 minus minus 3 just use your calculator, you will get 7 degree Celsius. Part 2. Find the difference in temperature between the cool box and the freezer. Now, which is the bigger number? For negative 3 and negative 19. Negative numbers, the smaller number is the bigger. So, negative 3 minus minus 19. This will give us 16. For A3, the temperature in the cold room is 5 degrees centigrade lower than the fridge. Find the temperature in the cold room. So, 4 lower means it is less. For less, we always subtract 4 minus 5, negative 1. So, negative 1 degrees Celsius. Alexa, Ben and Chloe share the profits from the restaurant in the ratio 2, 6 and 7. One year the restaurant makes a profit of $60,000. Work out how much each receives. So this is Alexa, Ben and Chloe. They share the profit in the ratio 267. For Alexa, it is 2 over the total. So all total parts are 15. You just add all of these together and multiply by 60,000. This will give you 8,000. This is for Alexa. For Ben, 6 parts out of 15 multiplied by 60,000 will give us, I forgot the zero here, 24,000. And for Chloe, 7 parts out of 15 multiplied by 60,000 will give us 28,000. Part C. They invest $12,000 at a rate of N percentage per year simple interest. At the end of three years, the value of the investment is $12,900. Find the value of N. So they invested $12,000 and they earned $12,900. So the difference between the two is the interest that they earned minus 12,000 will give us 900. Interest is 900. Time is 3 years. Our initial investment that was given that is called the principal is 12,000. And we need to find the rate of interest. In this case, they have written it as N. So when simple interest is involved, this is the formula we use. Interest is equal to PRT over 100. You want to find R, right? You have principal, you got time in years, you don't have your R. So interest is equal to PRT over 100. We will make R the subject. Multiply I by 100. So you are left with PRT. You want the R to remain here. This is all multiplied. So P and T, we can shift to the other side. It will become divide. It is much easier if you change the subject in the starting and then you put the values that you have. Our interest is 900 multiplied by 100. Principal is 12,000. Multiply the time in years, which is 3. This will give us 
so that is our n 5a t is equal to 3a square b find the value of t when a is 4 and b is 5 super easy two mark question we just replace but remember to 3a square means 3 multiplied by a square so put the bracket multiply by 5 and this will give us 240 as our answer b1 multiply out the brackets x times 3 is 3x and negative 5x multiplied by x will be negative 5 when we multiply variables that are same so x times x we add the power even if we don't see if there's an x it means the power is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 factorize fully so here we have 5x minus 20x square it's x times x x square 5 times 1 is 5 and 5 times 4 is 20 now we need to factorize what is common out the minus is in the middle you can see that 5 is common and 1x is common so what are you left with now 1 minus 4x factorizing is very important you need to be very good at it moving on to the next part of the question we have been given a triangle with the sides in algebraic form find an expression for the perimeter of this triangle give your answer in its simplest form so we write down what we have 3a plus b plus a plus 2b plus 4a minus 5b we add all the a's together 3a plus a plus 4a remember if there is nothing there is a 1 so it's in the calculator now you can put 3 plus 1 plus 4 that will give you 8a then same for b plus b plus 2 minus 5b so this is 1b 1 plus 2 minus 5 will give you negative 2b the perimeter value or nothing has been given so this is just the answer question number 6a we have been given a diagram of a cuboid the length width and the height has been given on the one square centimeter grid complete the net of the cuboid one face has been drawn for you a cuboid you know has six faces one here if you see will be six times three you will have two faces like that in rectangular cuboid you always have two faces that are same one will be the base six times two that will be two faces and then you have the height times width three times two that will be two faces you need to understand that now we have been given 6 by 3 one face so we need to make the other five faces there are different ways to make a net whichever way you know you can use that but you need to understand and know how to make a cuboid it's for three marks so this is our uh, cuboid net I've written down the dimensions we have 1 6 by 3 and 1 6 by 3 then 1 6 by 2 1 6 by 2 and 2 by 3 we have got 2 like I said before there are different ways of uh, making the net it's fine if you know another way question number 7a the diagram shows an isosceles triangle find the value of x isosceles triangle means that two sides are equal so this side is equal to this side that means the opposite angles will also be equal the sum angle property of a triangle tells us that when we add all the angles it equals to 180 so to find x 
we can say that 70 plus x plus x is equal to 180. x plus x is 2x. Shift the 70 to the other side, it will become negative. So 2x is equal to 110. But we want to find x. So the 2, which is a multiply, when we shift to the other side, will be a divide. This will give us 55. The value of x is 55 degrees. Now part B. The diagram shows two pairs of parallel lines. These two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel. The arrows show us that they are parallel. Find the value of A, B and the value of C. For this you need to know your corresponding angle, your vertical angle and the alternate angles. You need to know all the angle properties. These two lines are parallel and they are cut by another line. So this is making a Z here. Whenever you have a Z like this, the angle on each side are equal. Alternate interior angle. So A is going to be 32. Now to find B, we have to look like this. These two lines are parallel. When you have two parallel lines, the opposite interior angles are equal to 180. To find B, from 180, we have to subtract 32 plus 50. That will give us 98. Now C is remaining. Again, look at the angles, the parallel angle here. These are the parallel lines, sorry. They are cut by this transversal. So we are having a Z here. This is a Z. Therefore, C is equal to 32 plus 50, which is 82. I hope you have understood. If you have any queries, you can ask in the comment section. Part C. The diagram shows a rectangle 14 cm by W cm. The diagonal is 23 cm. Calculate the value of W. You know that in a rectangle, the corner angles are 90 degrees. So we are looking at a right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle, if one side you need to find and the other two sides are given, we use the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is a square plus b square is equal to c square. c is your hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. So 23 is our hypotenuse. I will just write down a rule here. It's not a rule. It's just a simplification of this Pythagoras theorem. But it makes things very easy. So if you want to find hypotenuse, in, not in this case, but generally, if you want to find hypotenuse, you will write hypotenuse, which is our C, is equal to square root A square plus B square. And if hypotenuse is given to you, then the side can be A or B, doesn't make a difference. It will always be the hypotenuse square minus the side given to you. So in this case, we have the hypotenuse which is 23 and one side which is 14 we want to find w so that will be square root the hypotenuse square minus 14 square you will get the answer 18.2 i hope this is clear to you we don't need to show all the steps it's fine if you do this you will get your marks part d we have been given a diagram which shows a square with vertices on the circumference of a circle, center O. The radius of the circle is 6 cm. Work out the shaded area. It's a 5 mark question. So from here, what do we gather? That the radius is five, sorry, 6 cm. Therefore, the diameter is going to be 6 plus 6. This diagonal is 6 plus 6, 12. 
in this question we need to find the area of the circle and area of the square we will first find the area of the circle area of circle can be found using what formula pi r square we already have our r which is 6 put this in the calculator no need to round it if your calculator gives you 36 pi leave it for now in this manner to find the area of the circle uh, square we write down the formula side square area of but we do not have the side we have the diagonal which is 6 plus 6 12 in a square both the sides are going to be same so if this is a even this is going to be a right we can use the pythagoras theorem to find our side so a square plus a square is equal to 12 square we add it together a square plus a square they are the same variable so it will become 2a square is equal to 144 a square is equal to 144 divided by 2 which is 72 and a is square root 72 which is 6 square root 2 if you get a decimal as an answer write it as a decimal if you get a root leave it as a root so area of the square will be 6 square root 2 the whole thing square and you will get 72 to find the shaded area we need to subtract from the area of the circle the area of the square so shaded area is equal to area of circle minus area of square area of circle is 36 pi and area of square is 72 we will get the answer for 41.097 now it's up to you if you want to round it to one decimal place if the number before after this the line that we drew is five or more we add one before so 41.5 square centimeter is the answer this was a little long question but i hope you understood clearly this brings us to the end of this tutorial thank you for watching for question number eight onwards please watch part three